Well, hello there, it's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com and I am here to open some mail. So I have uh, three packages I'd like to open today. Uh, and like I said, we kind of slowed ordering down. There's not as much coming in, but uh, we still have some things coming in. This one's pretty interesting. Uh, well, I think everything we got today will be kind of interesting, so <laughs> don't worry about that. Um, but before we dig into the package here, I need to get one of these opened. So I'm trying to open all of my Star Wars Chrome 2023, uh, mostly because I have a lot of it and Star Wars Flagship is on the way, so <laughs> gotta got to get through this so we can move on to the next thing. Um, but what this is, is a blaster pack of Topps Chrome Star Wars 2023. I collect this for my personal collection, so I have... Uh, quite a lot of it. I'm trying to get a complete set. Uh, not a master set, but just a complete set. Obviously, master set would be crazy. <laughs> but uh, so far, we've never really pulled any big, big hits from these blaster packs. The best we've ever gotten was like a, a manga madness or something. Not, not even a, not even a parallel at all. Other than the black waves that you kind of always get. Um, so here we've got a mace, a BB-8, Kylo Ren and the second sister, and that is just a base pack, so nothing but base cards in that pack. So. But that's okay, we got to open them all, and that's another one done. Actually. All right. And so then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, get work working on this. Um, so what this is, is a package from AliExpress with some trading cards in it. Uh, I'm not I can't remember exactly which ones are in here, but we'll, we'll find out together. But the way they package these is there's this kind of outer shell of kind of a stretchy paper. And then inside is just a bunch of bubble wrap. Not a box. And it actually protects the cards better than you would think. And in fact, one of the packages I have to open today is also from AliExpress, but it's in a box. And so you'll see how damaged that gets when it ships. What happens is if you order like three or four items, you'll get it shipped this way with the bubble wrap. And if you order less or more, you'll get a box. So you kind of have to balance your orders that way if you want to get uh, things shipped like this. Like I said, it's kind of a stretchy paper, but there's tape on it. And so. I can't stretch where the tape is. Get the right side. Get to the side. And uh, I can't tell. <laughs> can't really tell what's in there yet. Why don't we start working on the tape here and try to get it open? Okay. I saw this morning they put up a Legend of Zelda set, which is kind of interesting. Obviously bootlegged, but uh, was an interesting thing. It was based on um, like the Wind one, I think. Yeah, that was that was interesting. I didn't order it because there's not enough to put in a full order yet. But I probably will order that once. Okay, so. Man, this is really hard to get. That's enough. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'm doing my best here, but my poor little scissors can only get so far into this. We got it. Uh, sometimes this store, I ordered this from C1 Luxury Accessories Store. <laughs> I know the name sounds crazy, but they're actually one of the top vendors. At least in my opinion, they ship things the fastest and in the best condition. I do tape all the boxes together though, sometimes, which is a pain. I don't think that's what they did, but they might have a tape to pitch them down. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause the video and actually unwrap this. Uh, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Uh, I haven't fully unwrapped it yet, but now you can kind of see how much bubble wrap is on this and why I prefer, if I can, to not have to do this because now I'm going to have a room full of bubble wrap. <laughs> but it is very well protected. These boxes look like they arrived in great condition. 
which is good because I can see one of these is the new Marvel J box. Those boxes tend not to fit very well. Being that it shipped kind of well in this case is good. Oh, so they, they had taped it all together. That's why I was having so much trouble. Um, but let's take a look at this. I'm going to get the tape off of it. Oh, it's not perfect. A little bit damaged. Not too damaged. So the, this is the newest uh, J box. We call it J box because they use the J designation here. Um, but really, a better way for this would be to call it a 10 yuan box. So as you know, the UN levels, like 1, 2, 3, 10, uh, 5, and 10 are all used for, for all these trading cards. Uh, and so this is Kai Kaio's Marvel Hero Battle, of course. Uh, the latest release, this is officially licensed Marvel cards uh, from China. And this is the second edition of the 10 yuan box, which will have... MRs and CRs in it. And those are worth, uh, can be worth quite a lot of money depending on the character you get. Um, so I was pretty excited to see this. And uh, I opened this this weekend. Although I don't believe this is sealed anymore. I think it was resealed uh, because Kaio ships these with a security sticker on them uh, and a security tape around them. And it's not on this box. So I'm guessing this was searched maybe from the bottom. Kind of looks like it got opened from the bottom. There you can see it was torn a bit there. So it looks like what happened is someone removed the wrapping, opened it from the bottom, took the packs out, probably weighed them, put the ones they didn't want back in and another one to replace whatever they took, and then tried to put this back, but obviously they damaged it when they opened it. Uh, and then they've resealed it with their own uh, wrapping. But that's not Kaios. You can tell because Kaios would have uh, security tape around it from their own. But uh, that happens. <laughs> it's really hard actually to get untampered product shipped, so that will happen and we're going to fix that it. I'm sure they'll still be good cards, but it's not actually that big a deal. I just like to point it out so people understand what uh, what's going on there. Now this is... Uh, as you know, one of my favorite designers, Big Face Studio, they make great cards. Um, they make an excellent Chainsaw Man set. They make a great Tokyo Ghoul set. And this is their Fate Stay Night set, uh, which is based on an RPG and anime. And it looks like the box here is the same style as the Tokyo Ghoul one. And uh, interestingly, they've translated. This is exact translation here, which is nice. Uh, yeah, that's cool. It's a correct, uh, correct, mostly correct translation too, so that's really good. Um, yeah, we'll look at this later today. We probably will do like a big face battle with all three of their sets that I have. They also make a Miyazaki set, uh, but it's old and it's really hard to find, uh, so I have never found a copy yet for myself. Uh, but this just came out, and so I figured I would pick pick that up. And this I was pretty excited to get a copy of as well. So this, uh, let me get this off the table. Oh my gosh, it's such a mess. Um, so obviously, yeah, so this is uh, another uh, Sailor Moon set for the uh, 31st anniversary. Two of these sets came out from two different groups. Uh, I don't want to say companies because we think these are all bootlegs. Um, the other set uh, is definitely bootlegs and uses stolen fan artwork on top of that, so it's like a pretty bad thing. Hopefully this uses original artwork, but we'll find out. Uh, interestingly, it has a, a security sticker on it <laughs> that looks untampered, which is nice. But then again, I don't think this set has anything really valuable in it. It doesn't have gold cards or anything like that, so... I'm not entirely sure why, oh, but we'll find out later, I guess. And then the company that made this, I guess, is called Demon Card. And when they say hand-drawn card like that, uh, what they're referencing is like doge, the term, uh, the concept of like dojin, of like uh, homemade cards or homemade manga. So that just means that like you should think of this as fan artwork or fan cards. 
and it's not an official product and that's kind of what that means but then again you know china has very different laws so <laughs> they can do things like this uh, but yeah we'll do a comparison of this and the other set uh, it looks much nicer than the other set i'm not gonna lie that's a really good looking box okay so that's that now let's switch gears a little bit and look at some western cards <laughs> So here's another uh, package that came in this week. This is from Dave and Adams. I am now a bronze number with them, which is what I was kind of trying to get to be. Now I'm working on becoming silver. I haven't gotten there yet. This box should have just some random blasters, and I bought a hobby box of the Marvel Annual, because I thought that set was kind of... I had a blaster of it, and I was like... You know, this set's pretty cool, and so I wanted to see what a full hobby would be like. And so I did get that. Here's what we've got in here. And so they gave us, uh, this is, uh, Dave and Adams always gives you kind of free stuff. And so this is a weird thing. I don't know why they make these, but they, they make like dog pet. Anyway, I was curious to see what it was, so I picked that up uh, as my free. That's like a free gift again. And then this one is... Here, let me put this on the ground so that I can look at these a little more sensibly. There you go. So if you remember the Washington Chronicles blaster we were looking at last week by this company, Historic Autographed uh, and Cards, this is their World War II release from last year. And uh, I, I'm actually very interested in World War II history myself. I st uh, study, <laughs> listen to a lot of podcasts and things about it. Uh, so seeing a set based on that era was interesting to me, and so I picked this up. And we'll look at that probably along... We'll, maybe we'll do like a historic battle <laughs> where we do this, the Washington one, and maybe uh, Cayo's British Museum, and do like a history battle. That might be interesting. But yeah, we'll definitely look at that. That's kind of a, a neat thing to get there. And then I was on sort of a... Star Wars kick. I mean, I'm always on a Star Wars kick, but I'm always looking for a different Star Wars product. Uh, and so this is an older release. Um, so this would be sort of in their flagship line, flagship-like line, which just means they're cardboard cards. It's the base retail stuff. This would have been the kind of the cheapest retail product they made uh, around the release of this film, uh, the, what the, the Force Awakens film. So this was probably for The Force Awakens. And, uh, yeah, anyway, this set is not going to be very high value, but it should be interesting to look at. And I, I love Star Wars cards, so I'll just get more of those. Uh, I was really looking for Rogue One cards, and I actually got some, but they're not in this package. We'll get those on Monday. But yeah, the Rogue One cards uh, I got from Walmart, and I got like the most insane deal on them. I got an entire hobby box for like $20. It's crazy. Uh, so this is the Obi-Wan, uh, for the Obi-Wan TV show, um, this just came out. This is actually a very, very new release, even newer than Chrome. Um, but I didn't get a hobby of it, because, honestly, I didn't actually finish watching this show. I only watched the first part of it. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't sit there and watch the whole thing, so. Yeah, but I wanted to get a blaster just to kind of see what those cards are like. I assume they're also at that retail uh, paper card level kind of like this and then this is the same thing again uh, although from years I think like two or three years before maybe 2020 this might be from I can't remember yeah from 2020 so this is earlier than all these um, but this was a interesting little set they did uh, called battle plans where the cards are sort of focused on the different big battles that happened in the Star Wars universe. So that's what that'll be. And then since I can never not buy uh, Chronicles, I also bought a Chronicles. <laughs> and I know I already have a box of these, but I, you know, figured I'd get another one. Um, this is last year's NBA Chronicles set. Uh, and yeah, I, I always love opening these. They're super fun to look at. We got that. So there's five blasters and one hobby. And so this is the... Uh, Marvel 21-22 annual uh, hobby box. And so, yeah, this will be that that set. We've already looked at the blaster, but now we have uh, a hobby to look at as well. 
and I think there are redemptions in here, so we will have to open it a little a little sooner. But it's not too many cards, only 16 packs, 5 cards each, so it should be easy enough to get through. But there we go, that's um that's our free our free bit of spa. Oh eight one one, sorry. <laughs> I guess uh, I guess there are two dog tag things, <laughs> so there we go. Uh, but yeah, that's that box. I hope, I hope that's enjoyable. And then I have one more thing to show you. I'm just gonna get a picture of this. Perfect. And I'll put these kind of to the side here. I don't. We probably won't look at the Star Wars until the Rogue One gets in. So like next week, we'll do a huge Star Wars battle. All of the different Star Wars sets I have, which should be crazy. There's gonna be a cut edit there. Sorry. Because uh, I accidentally showed my address. Um, but uh, anyway, we're here now. So this is the last box I have to open in this video. Um, this is what I mean by if you order just one thing from AliExpress vendors, they'll send it in a box like this. And it doesn't survive as well. Oddly enough, the boxes never make it to me in as good a shape as the bubble wrap does. <laughs> So I vastly prefer the bubble wrap method. Um, but in this case, this is something I'd been looking for for a very long time. Uh, it's not actually hard to find this set. Everyone sells it. But it is hard to find it for a reasonable price. And that is kind of why I took so long. But I finally got a vendor who had it on sale. And as a result, was able to pick up a box. Yo. Yeah, they sent me a promo as well. I think there is a promo inside of this too. And you can see it's a 18 and plus only. So this is a, an adult adult set. Uh, and every, anyone who knows this book probably already knows kind of what these cards are all about. Um, but they're basically like anthropomorphic women and uh animals monsters mixed together uh so it's gonna have a lot of like cryptid type things in it which is why i love the set and i don't probably not any pictures not really any good pictures on here but uh i can't i don't really know how many cards are in here or anything like that although to be honest it feels heavier than you'd think but still i don't think there's more than maybe 12 packs inside this but still, this is uh, very hard to find. Uh, you, they, you can, they will sell this for over $100. That's kind of how expensive this usually is. Although I got it for way, way, way less than that. Um, when I review it, I'll, I'll explain how, how I did that. But yeah, this should be pretty special to look at. And I intend to use it in a cryptid battle with uh, Metazoo, this, uh, Beast Mother, which is another anthropomorphic waifu set, and Abnormality Hunter League, which is a Kamon set. So I'll do those four in kind of a mini cryptid battle. That'll be a lot of fun. Uh, but for now, uh, this is what we've got. And uh, yeah, so that's our unboxing for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know in the comments if there's one you want to see sooner. Uh, we're going to see this very soon, because I intend to open that right after this video. <laughs> Uh, okay, see you soon.